today I'm going to be showing you how to do the rainbow scale of light. So for our materials that we need first, you need black paper and then you need your rainbow pencil. So um, one of the reasons why we suggest that using Prismacolor pencils is so important is because the pigment in these as well as the level of wax works really well on the black paper to give you a very luminous color. So the colors that we have selected for this process is the Prismacolor White, the Prismacolor Violet, a True Blue, Aquamarine, Spring Green, Canary Yellow, and we have here Orange and Magenta. Scarlet Lake. So these colors are the colors of the rainbow. They also are the representative of your chakra system. So that is one reason why it aligns so well with using them for this process. So back in the book Mandala by Judith Cornell on pages 84 to 85, she had you doing this exercise. I'll show you right here where you actually draw a triangle and use primary colors to do the rainbow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that to start off with. So first thing you're gonna do is take a ruler and a piece of black paper, and you're going to draw a small triangle. Equilateral, meaning all sides are fairly equal. It doesn't have to be exact for this, but as close as possible. And then you're gonna make one that's a little bit bigger than all of that. So again, it's not exact, but it's close enough for this exercise. So then like you did in the uh, first chapter or the first exercise where you're doing white light, you're going to illuminate this triangle in here. So you're going to basically do the same thing you did before. You're tickling the paper with the white pencil and you're making this the brightest part on the inside and it gets lighter as you go to the outside of this triangle. And you just Continue to work this until you have your scale of white light. Now your primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And those are the three colors that you're going to be working with for this exercise. So you're going to pick a side and you're going to start with the red. And you're going to do the brightest or the deepest red along the outside edge and you're going to do the opposite scaling very light into the white. So your heaviest pressure is on the outside of this triangle with this pencil and bringing it into the light, into the white, creating a scale of the red. 
and you're going to go from one side to the other all the way to the edge. Then you're going to flip it around and you're going to take the yellow and do the same thing. So you start off with the brightest on the edge. So you can put a little bit of pressure on it there. Not too much so you don't break your point. And then you're going to start coloring that in. The lightest again going towards the center. Now as you cover the red up, you should start to see some orange because yellow and red should make orange. And if it doesn't quite get that way, you can cover it back up and blend it. You should start seeing some orange coming through. On the opposite side, you're going to have blue. So blue and yellow should make a green. Again, darkest blue on the outside and have it come in light into the center. So this should be shades of blue and then the overlap between the blue and the yellow. You may have to alternate your pencils a little bit. Are, it should be making a green. And with the blue and red side, it should be blending together to make a purple. Again, you kind of need to overlap them a bit in order to get that effect. So as you can see, you have yellow, red, purple, blue, green, yellow. So as I just showed you, you can do the um, rainbow colors with white and your three primary colors, your red, yellow, and blue, to get the full rainbow. But you don't have to actually blend colors. You can actually get all the colors that you need from the rainbow, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So this here is an example of the rainbow scale of light. So basically what you're going to do is practice doing the scale of light just like you did with your white pencil except you're going to use colors. And you're going to do them in the order of the rainbow or of your chakra system. First being red or magenta, then orange, then yellow, then green, then a turquoise or a blue and purple and then you'll repeat. Now one of the things that I have noticed in working with these materials is that the yellow on the black paper sometimes will look rather green. So when you get to the yellow portion you might want to start with a layer of the white scale and put the yellow on top of it and that will avoid this problem. So just like you did with the white scale of light you're going to start off with a line of color. So I'm going to do red and then I'm going to do orange and overlap them a tiny bit. I find keeping them in order is helpful as well when you're laying them back down on the table. So see how that yellow turned kind of green? So if you put that white down and then put the yellow on top of it, it should stay fairly yellow. And then turquoise, oops, yes, that happens frequently. Blue and purple. So we'll go back and then we're going to start building out the scale of light. We want the brightest red all the way going and fading off into the paper, the black paper. And then again with the orange, remembering to overlap a little bit.
be patient with yourself because this takes some time and some practice to get the colors right. You can go back and forth to brighten up the colors. Again, for the yellow, you might want to start off with some white. You can actually do that with any of them. If you don't feel it's bright enough, put a layer of white underneath it. The reason, one of the reasons why I want you to get in the practice of overlapping the colors is when you're going to illuminate your mandalas in the future, if you have a primary color in your mandala that's orange, let's say, and you really want that to pop out of your mandala, adding a tiny bit of the color on either side, like yellow or red, will make that orange pop right out and illuminate it within your mandala. I'll be showing that to you in future future exercises. Just something to keep in mind. And normally we'd have turquoise here, but since the turquoise broke, we'll just add the blue. For your throat chakra. Finally the purple. Now again, to make the purple pop, you can either have blue on one side, but you also could have red on the other. So I quickly showed you how to do the rainbow light on the triangle using primary colors, as well as the rainbow using all of the rainbow colors. And you can see that there's lines, and I did these in a very quick fashion for the demonstration purposes. As you practice, one of the goals that you want to get is if you look at this example, how they're blended very nicely together and it goes from a very dark, rich pigment to a very light pigment on the black paper across the entire spectrum. That is a goal in order to make this the best representation of the light. Obviously, perfection is not important, but some people find that the more that they spend time on this, obviously the more vibrant it gets, and the longer you spend doing your meditations, the more in depth and in tune with your inner light you'll be. So take your time, don't rush this process. Another fun thing is to add a little bit of light or white light to the edge of the rainbow. Um, in this one I was playing around with little driplets and added white to the edges of the drops. Again, you can take different shapes and do your entire rainbow within it. Play around with it, practice it. Don't give up too quickly. The more you do it, the better you'll get. The more luminous your mandalas will be.